my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. What do you do if you have a ton of information that it's just in a pile, it's a messy pile and you have, to, you have to figure out a way to use it? You start categorizing it. You start putting it in boxes depending on what's related to what. So you kind of have an overview and you can go to the boxes you need whenever you need them, right? Like a library or like a hard disk on a computer. Uh, or like Google, you know, indexing the internet, all the information, putting it into little boxes so it can find it, you know, like that. And the, the human brain does that. And that's the secret to playing fast, or one of the key secrets anyway. But most people don't know about this secret because they never really, you know, even those, those guys who really play fast, uh, they aren't necessarily conscious about why their brain cracked the code. Have you ever thought about why it seems there seem to be two groups of people, like two groups of guitar players? Either they can play and play fantastically and beautifully, but they're not able to play those blazingly fast runs. And then there's the other group that is really able. They're, they're not just fast, they're superhumanly fast. We call them shredders sometimes, right? It's like it's another category of technique. But what about the gray zone? What's in the gray? There's not, not a lot going on in the gray zone. You know, people who can almost, but not quite, you know, because it seems like there's a barrier inside of us. And this is the barrier. When you're practicing anything, let's say you're practicing, a, it could be cold, but in this case, say you're practicing three notes on one string. And you practice it and you do what I tell you to. You use the metronome when you're alone and then you take it to the TV. You keep playing like that, 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 right? And you just can't seem to get to the next level where there's a natural level here that you need to break through. And that is the level where the conscious mind cannot process each and every individual note by itself. It needs to move to the next level and that is grouping the three notes into one unit. So instead of you playing da ba da 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 you know that feeling you know you can't synchronize anymore you don't know what's going on because it's it's a lot of notes that point is why the brain simply don't have the ability to process each and every notes individually so you need to make them one thing one spasm how do you do that you use accents you give the brain a point of focus where it can say, okay, this is the point, this is the point. But, and then it starts processing that point instead of the three notes individually. So instead of going da 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 it starts going ba da 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 and this becomes one spasm. Bam! One group of notes. Ba da da ba da da ba. But if you're not accenting, if you're just playing and hoping to be fast, you're absolutely kidding yourself. Without an accent, in there somewhere that allows the brain to group the notes, you're lost. You cannot, you cannot go beyond the point where the brain can process each and every note. It has to stay there and synchronization goes you know, away, you can't do anything. So when, once you start going and it has to be automatic, right? First of all, you think about it, right? You think about that accent and exaggerate it in the beginning. always do it. And if you're practicing without an accent, you're just wasting your time. So you need to make that, you need to, you need to practice playing with an accent. Because once you do that, you give the brain a chance. It can follow that. But at some point, it gets too fast, even that. And that's why you need to group even more notes into one accent than three. So you, you group double that. You go ba da da, ba da da da, ba da 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 da, ba, 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 ba. And and usually six notes or eight notes under one note under one accent is pretty much you know. Uh, the, the perfect combination that brings you all the way to maxing out on your body's ability to really move the pick, right? 
Well, he simply physically can't play any faster. But it's it, often, you know, anyone, most people can do this pretty rapidly, right? It's control we need, and control is accents. Control is giving the brain a chance to group the notes into groups of three, four, uh, five for that matter, but we don't practice that a lot uh, at the beginning stages anyway. So that is a key insight. And, and to recap the whole thing, if you're not practicing with accents, you're absolutely wasting your time. Practicing a little bit with your picking and a little bit, you know, but there's no chance you can ever take that pattern that you're building to any high level of speed. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.